Hey, today I'm here to talk about Rapid Resizer. It's a tool for being able to trace outline, uh, which is called vectorizing, or also being able to reformat an image so that it fits any canvas that you're working on. So for example, if I send out a template and you can't get it to print exactly, you can always convert your own image using Rapid Resizer and it'll print customized from your printer so that you can get just the right sheet. Let's take a look at it. So once I go to Rapid Resizer, I can look up the pricing and the basic, which is just uh, a way to um, continue with the images is just quarterly uh, $12. So it's really, you know, nominal fee and that way you can use it depends on how much you want to use and you can pay by the quarter. So once you have that information and you've created a login, you've decided that this is a good program for you, um, then you create your login and you have a choice. Um, it'll take you to the homepage here where you can upload um, an image. And so if I just want to resize an image, here is a recent copyright free image that I did. Um, I got this from a website called Pixabay but it's a copyright free image. And if I want to resize it, and let's say that I want to trace this outline or I want to print this so that I can trace an outline and I'm working with a 16 by 20 canvas. So depending on the orientation, right? Meaning if I want it to be vertical like it is now, then I'll do a width of 16 inches and then I'll adjust the height to be 20 so that I can get it to fit within a canvas and it's going to produce six sheets of paper so that I can cut and tape those together to create the outline. And then when I hit print, I'll have the um, option of turning it into black and white or color. It automatically will put it into black and white, but you can switch it to color, et cetera. Okay. Now, um, once I hit print, it'll automatically tell my printer how to uh, portray the images. And then all I have to do is cut the edges and use some scotch tape to put it back together, which I'll show you in a moment. Now, if this were not what I was looking for and I was looking for just more of an outline, what you can do is go back to the basic page. And instead of using the first tab here to upload a design, I'm going to go to what's called the vectorizer. Once I click on that, it's going to take me to where I can upload a file to trace. And this is if I already have the trace template. If I need to turn a photograph like what I just posted into an actual trace template, then I'm going to click on photo to drawing converter. And when I click on that, you see the image and how it takes a photograph and it'll give you an effector or an outline of it. So now I'm going to upload from my device and I'm going to select the same picture and you can see the color photo here and you can see the outline. Now that's way too many lines for me to try to trace. So I'm gonna use either the, model, uh, the modeling here, I can change categories to do thin, threshold, which gives me darks and lights, or I can do the adaptive, but I'm gonna leave it on edges. But what I'm gonna do is adjust the tones here so I can go a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, et cetera. And I'm just gonna play with it until I get the outlines that I'm looking for. I'll also take sharp and I'll soften it a little bit. And you can see that it almost makes the lines disappear. And I just play with the controls until I get just the right balance of what I'm looking for as far as an outline. And the more you outline, the easier it'll be. Now, once you do this, you can um, customize to print it full size. Or what I do is I just take a screenshot of this and I do that on my computer by hitting shift, command, and four. But I wanna make sure that I have the whole image here in the screen first. So I'm gonna hit shift, command, four, and this little box is gonna appear. And I'm gonna write, I'm gonna click it in the corner and it puts this window over the entire thing that I wanna screen share or screenshot rather. And then when I let go, it took an image. Then when I go to my files, you see, it's right here, ready to go. And so now I can print that. So I need to go back and repeat a step. Now that I've vectorized it, I'm gonna go backwards to the beginning where I started. And I'm gonna go back to this first column. So just to be clear, let me repeat it before I move on. When I have just a photo and all I need to do is convert it, I just use this first tab. If I wanna create an outline, I have to go here to the vectorizer first 
then I have to come back up here to the top to reconvert it into the size that I want. So I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to cre create that and I'm going to click. But instead of picking the image, I'm going to actually go and pick the screenshot so that it immediately uploads just the template. And then I'm going to come back here and adjust to 16 by 20 again. And then I'm going to print so that I can um, piece it together and do my trace template. So let me print that and then I'll come back and show you how to finish the rest.